Hey guys, it's LB. So today is the start of a new mini series. Hopefully, mini series. Um, <laughs> it is things you can do under self isolation. Because that's where most of us are right now. Under self isolation. Um, yeah, so like most of you, I haven't been out of the house in the last two, three weeks, two, two weeks. Yeah. I I don't even know what day it is, really, honestly. Um, it's Friday. It's the weekend. Ooh, weekend. Not that it really makes a difference. Like, I've been out of the house. I have to take my dog for walks. But, like, I don't remember the last time. Cause I, I, yeah, I don't even go grocery shopping anymore. I didn't send Mitch to do that. Um, I have a pretty poor immune system, so I am staying in as much as I can. Stay inside, stay safe. I think it's starting to get to me. So I've come up with a list of things that you can do while in self-isolation so that we're not all going crazy. Spring cleaning, organize your kitchen, reimagine your wardrobe, garden, do the things you've been putting off, Learn something new. Take some personal time, because we all need it. Try something new. Create a bucket list. Finish a know thyself quiz. Get all deep and personal with yourself. And create a routine, because I thrive when I have a routine. So now is the time to create a great morning routine and a great night routine, because there's anything else you guys want to see or anything that you can add to that list please comment down below because I'm sure we are all looking for things that we can do to pass the time we are going to be kicking it off with wait for it reimagining your wardrobe yeah I know because what else are you gonna do when you can't go outside so while researching this video, I found a great one on kind of steps to go through your wardrobe and help you get rid of things, keep things, figure out what the heck you're doing with things. <laughs> I will link it down below. It is by Violet underscore FR. She's French, so I think that stands for that. I actually don't know. This is the first video I came across of hers, but I really like her channel, so check her channel out as well. I also have a lot of tips coming for you guys throughout this video, so keep your ears out, and I hope you enjoy. of my regulars are sweaters. And that's kind of because we are coming out of winter and into spring now, so I am used to wearing a lot of long sleeves. I defeat them all, I'm never ever gonna hide no more. Now that we have all of our regulars picked out, we're going to sort them by category. For all the things I didn't know, the pain to hurt, I let it go. The nevers. You're gonna take everything and anything out of your closet that you never wear and put it on your bed. three different categories. We have no, not now, and how. <laughs> Most of my stuff is how. I just have no idea how to style. I'm not very good at that, so it's how to reimagine your wardrobe. 
um because we're gonna rearrange our wardrobe and figure out how to actually wear those pieces that we have no idea how to wear so no is things that you do not wear anymore um you've never worn them and you are not going to wear them this might be some items that you loved once upon a time and you wore them all the time but now you've just worn them too much and it's just not your style anymore or you're sick of it or whatever and you're not going to wear it again so those things we're going to put into a pile and we're going to take them to the thrift store later for the not nows we are going to find a suitcase or an under the bed storage container or something along those lines and we're gonna make our not now pile something that we're gonna revisit later on in the season, at the end of the season. Um, I also recommend maybe not putting stuff that you're really unsure about and it is the season for that in that suitcase because we all know that out of sight, out of mind and you know, you're gonna go back and look at it later and you're gonna not even remember that you had it, so how are you even gonna figure out if you were gonna wear it or not, you know what I'm trying to say? This here is kind of a special garment that I never wear, so not now as in, well, only special occasions kind of thing. So that'll go in a like a special place. Um, it's from Jordan. My mom got it for me on one of her trips over to the East. And yeah, so it's, it's not something that I wanna get rid of, but it's something that I never wear, so I brought it out. And then there is the house. So for your third pile, make it the pieces that you wanna keep but you just really do not know how to style it and that's why you don't wear it. I do go through my closet quite regularly, so that's why I don't have very much stuff that I'm getting rid of today and more so just the hows because, again, I have no idea how to style. I'm not very good. Um, growing up, I really just wore really weird clothes because I didn't want people to notice my body or look at me in that kind of a way, I guess. Um, yeah. And now I'm almost 26 years old and I'm figuring out who I am and what my style is. So <laughs> let's reimagine our wardrobe. Our how the heck do we wear these pile a not now pile and our never pile that we are just gonna get rid of. Step four, the revival. So this is the fun part. We get to go through our how pile and match it with our regulars pile. So we're gonna take pieces that we don't really know how to wear them and we're gonna pair them with some of the pieces that we actually wear all the time. So I recommend bringing out your shoes and your accessories as well so that you can use them to figure out how to style your pieces. This seems so simple, but I never thought of it before. I think it's because I was bigger and not so comfortable and now I am smaller and I feel a lot more confident to not wear an over-the-shoulder boulder holder. Now, I definitely recommend that you have a floor length mirror or at least something that you can see your kind of all of you in because without that, you don't really get a full sense of what the entire outfit looks like. He thinks we're going out because I'm trying on jackets. So once you've got your outfit figured out, the next step is to take a picture of it. So you're gonna lay it out on your bed or on the floor and take a picture of it so you have it saved so you can remember it. When figuring out how to style something, start out with a base. So I knew I wanted to wear this top and those pants with my belt. And then I tried on a bunch of overtops to go with it, jackets or throwovers, 
um, some accessories. I found a necklace I really liked. Um, I really liked the way it looked with my toque and these burgundy high top sneakers. So just have fun with it. little detail right here just to keep it like closed you know I don't know we'll see so I'm gonna add it to our mend to adjust pile so in trying to figure out how to style this top I thought I would try and style it with these pants that I recently got as a hand-me-down and I really like the way it turned out To keep things fresh, keep a dryer sheet inside of your suitcase. Okay, step five. We are going to organize our closet by category and color. So you can go light to dark, dark to light, sporty biv, however the heck you want to do it. It doesn't matter. Do what makes most sense to you because you're the one that has to go into your closet every single day. Tops that like to fall off. I really like these ones with the rubber grips on them. Um, they basically look the same as these ones, maybe just a little bit thinner, but you don't really notice when they're in the closet. So that is my tops organized, and I don't really have stuff here to organize my bottoms. I need to get more of the pant hanger hooks, and I can't really do that right now. So that is gonna have to wait. I do have this wardrobe here that I am going to show you how to file fold and organize so that it doesn't look like a hot mess. Like I can't even open this. Oh my gosh. That's why these are here because I couldn't open it and I couldn't get into it. Easy to access, that is the key. Easy to access. Like you can tell when I put clothes away and when Mitch puts clothes away. <laughs> You're going to fold the shirt with the front or the graphic, the defining part of it on the outside. You're gonna fold it into thirds and then into half. And then you're going to smooth it out. As Marie Kondo would say, you're thinking the shirt. And 
then you're going to flip it over, take the collar side and flip it into about a third, move that out, and then again, Let's move that out. And it should stand on its own when you've done it properly. And yeah, so it takes up not very much space at all, and you know what shirt you have because you can see it plainly at the top and in front of you. Now for jeans, fold them, make the pocket side out, match up the ends. Then we're going to fold them in half again. Make sure your crease is nice. Give it a little tug. Then you're going to fold them into a third and then in half. And that is how your pant will be. And the pocket is nicely at the top so you can see which ones you have. This is the before. Oh no. And then this is the hard work that came after that. Cause I don't wanna be just friends. No, no. I think it took me probably a good hour. Hit me out, hit me out. And this is the after. Look how nice that is. Um, if things don't fit in lengthwise like this, then you can fold them in half like it is on the side and in the middle there. And yeah, it kind of adds some more space and I can actually open this drawer. Now I am going to show you how I'm going to alter these pants. So I'm going to find where it sits naturally and it's not going to be pulling or too loose. I'm going to measure the chain there and then I am going to cut it, make sure I have the right amount of chains and then we are going to sew that into place. To do that you're going to take your thread with a knot on the end and come up in between the hem and come up wherever you want it to come up and whatever you want your design to be. Um, I'm just doing three across so I have divided it into thirds so I'm just eyeballing it too and then I am going to sew this chain on there just by doing a whip stitch and going back through the chain and then through the fabric again. And then you repeat that a few times. Once you've done that enough times that you feel comfortable with leaving it and that it's not going to pull out, we're going to go through the hem again and then up into about the middle-ish where we want our middle chain to come out of. Now fasten your second chain on and then same thing, you're going to go through the hem and then up to the very top of it, just down a little bit and come out through the middle of the hem there. And this will be where our third chain is going to sit. Make sure you don't over tighten it um, or else you'll pull your cuff in wonky <laughs> ways. And then when you're done your third chain, just shove it all the way down through the hem out through the bottom where the seam is. Once you have your needle out, you're going to tie a knot where the seam is and then cut it and you are done one side. And then just repeat the same thing to the other side and this is what the final looks like. I also added a mirror and hung up some of my hats in my closet. Thanks so much for watching guys. Please leave a comment down below of more things that you would like to see and we can help each other out through this difficult time. I hope everyone is staying healthy out there and continues to stay healthy. Stay at home guys. Thanks. I seem to digress every time that I talk about having be stuck inside and my ADHD brain just goes on a million other things and I keep getting insane.